bravely welcoming disappointment. So in summary of what I've been talking about so far, or most recently, when we're pursuing a clear priority, we will welcome disappointment rather than fear it. It's quite common for people to fear disappointment, or they might say fear failure. It's quite common, but that's not how it works when a clear priority is what is organizing our action and our process. You will pursue effectiveness with so much focus that even repeated disappointments will be incidental, trivial, of no lasting importance. Oh, a good thing that I know how effective that method was. Moving on now. Your clarity will remain regardless of the results of any particular experiment or any particular assessment of a method. You still have a clear priority. That didn't stop. You want to be clear on the priority and then clear on how effective a particular method is. Then you, you either keep using that method or move on to another. <coughs> As you refine your methods, your discipline will grow. Your um, you'll, you'll be motivated to continue assessing methods, to continue finding innovative methods or unfamiliar methods to you, methods that are not already familiar to you or that have some component that's unfamiliar. That's going to be interesting when you have a clear priority. Your discipline will grow naturally. Motivation will be uh, consistently present. It'll return in the event of any disappointment, motivation will still be present. So a disappointment won't end the motivation. It will just get kind of like dissolved by the presence of the motivation. Any disappointment will be, okay, that was disappointing and continue. The motivation continues to organize action, relevant action. So that's what happens when there's a clear priority. When pursuing ideals, you may need frequent external encouragement to motivate you, to even get you started. A priority will motivate you without any social reinforcement. It's not a priority because of uh, someone told you it was what you should focus on. If someone did tell you that, it may resonate with you. But your motivation is intrinsic to the priority when it's a priority or your motivation is intrinsic to the outcome when that outcome is a priority. Other people's discouragement, how, how interested will you be in other people's discouragement in regard to a particular priority that really motivates you or in regard to a method that you really think is a, is a uh, promising method in regard to producing uh, a really high priority result? If other people discourage you, you'll notice that a little, and that's about it. If other people discourage you, you'll dismiss that as them attack. You may dismiss that. You will dismiss that on occasion as, as them attempting to distract you with invitations for you to waste time justifying your focus to them. They're, they're, dis they're maybe presenting discouragement to find out how focused are you? How clear on you? How clear are you on that priority and how much is that outcome really a priority for you? If they discourage you, your response will will differ depending on whether that's a, a real priority for you or just an ideal that you find reassuring or find familiar and um, you're retreating to that ideal. Um, in the absence of an actual, clear, firm priority. So if someone discourages you and you are focused on a clear priority, you won't rebel against their discouragement either because you'll barely notice it. So it's not going to give you that, oh, I'm going to prove to them that I can blah, blah, blah. No, you're, you're just not going to be distracted. You'll be firmly focused on something that really motivates you. 
And so if this this if this makes sense to you, and you're like, yeah, I've had that occasionally, and I've I've noticed that in other people occasionally, but that's not my typical experience. Well, then that's that's probably why you've spent so many minutes uh, investigating this information so far, and and uh, we'll we'll continue here and see if we can bring you not only to an interest in experiencing clear priority, but as eventually. Um, into clarity about what really is a motivating priority for you, but that is separate from these uh, introductory videos. That gets into a service, right? So if you're interested in that service, you can contact us. You can uh, explore that service and indicate your interest to us. But when back to this contrast between um, bravely welcoming disappointment when there's a clear priority and being afraid of disappointment in so many other cases. We're, you're not proving yourself. You're not avoiding disappointment. You're not chasing validation and chasing um, success like, oh, I want to be successful and then I'll be successful and I'll be happy. No, this isn't about being successful for social purposes. This is about an outcome that you really value. You just are interested in producing that outcome, maybe consistently maintaining a particular outcome or a particular circumstance. Um, but this isn't about proving yourself and confidence will develop over the course of uh, developing skills and producing results. You, you, you know, you'll experience confidence, you'll experience uh, clarity, you'll experience um, uh, you could say self-esteem, but confidence will develop as you produce results and, and demonstrate to yourself your own competence your own skills, then you'll be confident. Not not you're going to be confident because you should be, but you're going to be confident because you've actually done the thing that uh, you, you know, you, you value. You value doing something, then, and you've done it a lot, then you'll be confident. And you're not going to be confident in a way that you're going to argue about it. You'll just be confident. You'll be calm. You'll be confident. That's it. You won't be distracted about it. You're not proving yourself and you're not improving yourself or not as a preoccupation. And again, you'll experience improvement of various qualities, skills. But the whole point is here, you're pursuing a clear priority. That's the main organizing principle. You're just pursuing a clear priority. You're interested in effectiveness. You're interested in producing that result. And that's really it. And if other people's encouragement or discouragement um, arises in the process because other people find out about your interest or you, you share it with them that's just a little detail that's really a very small detail you're interested in effectiveness however many disappointments are involved however much discouragement is involved not an issue when the priority is clear and when that target outcome really is a priority then there's just investigation and action 